Hey guys, Bedtime here. I have a quick gameplay for you guys. Uh, this is just going to be a shorter video to talk to you guys about team chemistry. Um, the background gameplay is going to be a cranked gameplay on Tremor. Uh, I got a nice maniac kill streak. I thought it would be a little more interesting than watching 8s or a team scrim. Any team scrims that we have are most likely going to be listen-ins on the team page. Uh, this video is also going to be posted on the team page because it's my day to upload. I'm uh, not sure who's going to do it tomorrow. It might be Weigel or it might be Intensified. Depends on if he gets his uh, PVR in time. Uh, but yeah, so this is bas <laughs> basically going to talk about the team chemistry and uh, how people have come to me and asked me about how do you find these people, any input on what you think we're doing wrong and stuff like that. But uh, off the start, people have come to me and asked to me, how do you, how, like what do you see wrong with our team at this point? And like, what do you think we're doing wrong strategy wise? And I like I asked them, do you have any problems with people yelling at like not being open minded to your ideas and stuff like that? And most of the time, you hear people saying that we do have like like one or two people who are stubborn about what they do and just do their own things. That's a huge problem within teams. Uh, people don't have an open mind and listen to the input from their teammates. And I even find myself sometimes pushing, like, blocking people out like that, and I really need to listen to that. Um, but most of the time we do agree on our team. We do, we either agree to disagree, or we either, like, find a solution that fits both of our needs. Uh, most of the time it comes around in search, because our Dom and Blitz game is pretty strong. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, you gotta be open up, you gotta be open-minded to input from your teammates. Uh, that's, like, number one. And another thing I have to talk about is callouts. Uh, it might be something simple, like there's a guy right like pushing left side Jennies on freight or something, and you may you may take a quick look there. You might not even listen to that, and you might just push through mid and try and get into their base, and just try and like run by and just get reckless and stuff like that. You gotta be able to listen to stuff like that and actually take an account that you gotta pick up that kill or you gotta take like action on what he's what he's saying. Because most of the time, I mean, in 8s, you're not really going to listen to play for yourself. But uh, you do want to win. So even just in 8s, you could probably work on that. But basically, you got to work on team chemistry. Like, that'll start to break up teams if you don't listen to callouts. Uh, it, it's just a huge, huge mishap or a mu huge problem. Um, I mean, that's that's another thing. If you don't take an input, you're not going to listen to callouts. Uh, sometimes, like, most of the time, I'm getting a little bit better at that. I'm starting to listen to more callouts and actually focusing on uh, what, what's at hand, at, like, what's the problem. Like, I'm not just focusing on my goal, like, pushing up EMTs or something. Like, I gotta pay attention to middle two. Like, I'm just I'm just giving examples. If you guys don't know those callouts, I'm sorry. But that's on Warhawk pushing up right side by the big water tower. I mean, but, um, and then, like, yeah, so callouts. That's my second topic. Third one is coaching. You need to find a coach. A uh, huge, huge uh, plus to your team, especially on Blitz, because Blitz is a pretty weird game mode. It's a fluky game mode. But when you have a coach and he counts people for you, like he's like, all right, two, two or three down. You're looking for Intensify or Weigel. Like you'll, uh, let's just say one for now. So say you're looking for Intensify. I mean, you could, like for example, you could be on freight if you know the orange building, third story. I mean, you could push left side, not even pay attention, and you're like, all right, left side's fine since you just ran past it. He could sneak by. Your coach could say, all right, you have three down, you're looking for him. You'll notice that you're not finding him. Two could rotate back and pick that guy up. One or two could like rotate back, pick that guy up, and you just probably save the flag cap. Because most of the time when you just don't have a coach and you're just playing by yourself, you're not focusing really, you're focusing on the people who are down but not as much as you can when a coach can tell you specifically, alright, this is the person you're looking for. So when when you have that coach, it really does help. Uh, huge shout out, I think Maverick OG is going to be coaching our team from now on. So that'll be a huge plus, he knows the game very well, he's given us a lot of tips on our um, on our gameplays, he's been watching streams for us, He's been he's been doing different things to help us out. Um, so basically, you're grabbing a coach, callouts, input, and like really what you need to work on. But um, the last thing is like people ask me, how do you find these people? Because once I tell them all these things, they're they're just wondering, all right, how do you find people that that will work well with you? Um, first of all, if you had any previous teams, go back to them, like see who you worked well with. Maybe you had a team, you had a full team, you worked well with someone, they all bro you broke up with them, like you you just went different ways. 
um, you could definitely go back and see, alright, who did I really team well with, like, who was my, uh, my duo on my team. Go back to him, talk to him, is he still playing competitive, is he on a team, try and talk to him, see if he wants to start a team up. That, that's a great idea, because then you already have team cam that was built earlier with that person. You can usually find team of twos that'll come with you. But uh, basically that's sort of my, my quick video, it's wrapping up really quick, so uh, sorry that was a little shorter. But I'll talk to you guys next time, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and took some uh, took some ideas from me. Peace, guys.